send it up the boards, back inside the Griffin line. Grand Rapids cleared it. Now Polkadon's going to come, or Zangerly comes up with it. A shot, score! Kevin Potter on a drop pass from Mark Zangerly. And I don't know what happened there, Lou, but it looked like Bennington might have just flat out off plane or uh, misplayed that one. Of course, the uh, Blackhawks AHL team, Rockford, Illinois. Now look out, play right in front of the score. Ty Ratty took a centering pass from Broderest and tucked it into the upper left-hand corner. And then he got shouldered to the ice by his teammate, Pat Canoni. That's highly unusual for a, a, a 282nd selection overall right. back in 2002. Oh. And in front, the Wolves have scored. Two minutes and 14 seconds into the second period, Chicago has grabbed a 2-1 to lead here. With Canoni, Broders feeds it across. That one tipped. Chicago still managing to play. They'll work to the circle and score. What a shot by Ty Ratty. And just like that, Chicago's got a 3-1 lead. Down behind the net, though, knocked down, and Beach far side will scoop the puck forward, but not out. Here's Aubrey letting a shot go, the save of the rebound. Hogan shot, score! Jeff Hogan, the captain's got one at 8.37, and the Griffins are within one now at 3-2, and that's another $200 of the Ryan Fisher Scholarship Fund. Compliments of Image Quest. Polkett in right in the middle. He'll tee it up and fire. Black oh, got in front of that hurt. Bortson's got the puck with an empty net ahead. They'll hit center and fire and score. And Chicago is likely going to come out of here with a victory. Tonight it'll be a victory in two points as they knock the Griffins off 4-2 and wind up winning three out of the four games in this building during the 14-15 regular season. Have to talk us a little about through your goal. Yeah, it was just a uh, shift. We're working down low in the corners and pucking it out uh, with Lou. Took a shot, trying to cause traffic in front, and was on my stick and just got it up and over on there. How does it feel knowing you got your third gear hole of the season? You can you haven't gotten one in a while. Yeah, I know. I've been struggling in that department a little bit. You know, nice to give a little boost, but you know, I needed uh, a couple more tonight for sure. Now, uh, you guys have lost the last four games. Tell us a little, what's, what's going on? Yeah, no, we were kind of finding our way there. We, you know, we were a little inconsistent to start the year, found a groove, um, hit a little right here, and we're going to battle our way out of it. And what do you guys need to do to battle your way out of that? Yeah, just consistent, you know. Uh, that's one thing we've been preaching, you know, uh, every shift, every night. Um, they got a, you know, two-goal lead on us, and, you know, we'll feel good going in third to battle back. It came up short. How about tonight? How do you, how do you feel like you played? Oh, it wasn't good. Like, uh, I think uh, I didn't have uh, enough energy, energy to play uh, tonight. But like, uh, I tried my best. Uh, it was okay, but like, uh, not good enough. How about the team? I think uh, first 40 was like uh, okay game, but like uh, then we push hard for the last 20. And we got chances there. Like we should score, but like we didn't score, and they scored empty net. That's it. What's your motivation going into the game Friday? Oh, good. We have to win, like uh, we've been losing uh, last four games, so uh, we need points right now. So uh, everybody have to have to focus for Friday, Saturday, and uh, then have a little break. Well, I thought the first half they outcompeted us. I thought they won uh, the majority of the puck battles and puck races, and I thought they hemmed us in our end because of that. We didn't make enough hard plays out of our end. I thought the last 30 minutes of the game, uh, we just started to work harder and compete harder, and I thought we controlled the majority of the game. Certainly the third period we did and had lots of chances, obviously, to score, but you can't dig yourself a hole in this league. You can't play 30 minutes against a really good team and expect to win. you got to play 60 minutes, and, and you know, I think... I think we have guys that understand that, but um, you know, each guy individually here is going to have to get himself in a spot where he's ready to play for 60, not for 30. And uh, about Jeff getting that goal tonight, third goal of the season. How do you feel about that? Well, I thought I thought he was one of our better forwards. I thought he actually kind of uh, started our um, game going in the right direction because uh, how hard he was working and winning battles and. Uh, you know, Jeff works real hard, and he, he's, uh, he hasn't had as much opportunity as maybe he's had in the past, but uh, he, he comes to work every day, and I thought he really kind of jump-started us a little bit, and certainly with that goal. Speaking of um, Hogan, I think it was in the second there at some point, you kind of switched your lineups there with like Hogan, 
Callahan and Mantha? Yeah, I, I was, uh, we had some different combinations, seeing if we could get anything to catch some chemistry. We started the game the way that we had um, the way that we had the line set up before Palkin went up and Mealy got hurt, so we thought maybe we could get that chemistry back right away. But um, then through the second there, we were looking for some different combinations, trying to see, uh, you know, I think we were going to play four lines, they were going to play four lines, so we need to get four uh, combinations of four that worked. And, um, uh, you know, I don't know if it was the, we kept working through it until the third period. Now, you guys have lost the last four games. Mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday, you got a tough team you got to go against. Mm -hmm. What do you guys need to do to sit there and get yourself prepared to sit there and face that team? Well, I think everybody we play is, is a really good opponent. So I think it's a matter of us uh, getting ourselves to the level where we're ready to compete and work for 60 minutes. And, you know, we try to, we try to help our guys structurally. Um, I don't pull the you got to work harder card every single time we lose, but tonight uh, we didn't work hard enough for 60. We didn't compete hard enough for 60. The game of hockey to me boils down to who wins the puck races and puck battles. If you win the puck races and puck battles, you have the puck in your stick the whole time. If you don't, you're chasing it the whole time, and we didn't do enough of it the first half, so we're going to have to do that for 60 minutes.